Okay, Lincoln, we painted this tile with Beyond Paints paint and they say it's gonna stick. How do you think we should test it? Mm, good question. What happened if we use some water on that? Well, let's try some water. My son and I are painting tile for two reasons. First off, I got an offer for a sponsorship from Beyond Paint and they claim that their paint can work on glazed tile and I wanted to put that to the test. The second reason is that my wife hates the color of our kitchen cabinets, which are the same stained color as the cabinets in this little nook. So even on the off chance that painting wood makes some of you unhappy, I gotta take that chance to find a solution that makes my wife like these cabinets and doesn't cost me a fortune replacing them. Also sanding and restaining, that's not an option. I don't want to take the time and also there's a lot of thin veneer, not so much on these, but on the kitchen cabinets that I'm worried about blowing through if I did try to do that. It's just not worth the trouble. So I'm painting. But before that, I'd like to say thank you to whoever fixed this frame in place with drywall screws and didn't even countersink them. <laughs> Beyond Paint's paint is special stuff. Sanding is not required to get a good bond, even on challenging surfaces. You don't need to do any priming, it doesn't take many coats. So, cool stuff, I really like it, I like the way it turned out, but we'll get to that a little bit later. You just have to roll it on, or dab it with a brush in the recesses that you can't roll. Sometimes the thing I'm working on isn't a crazy invention concept or ambitious furniture build. Just a simple home improvement. So that's what I've got for you today. But it does give me the opportunity to ask about painter's tape. If you leave it in place for multiple coats, when you remove it, sometimes the paint sticks to the tape and peels off the painted surface. And if you score it with a knife to try to keep this from happening, I found it's impossible to avoid a visible line that doesn't really look very good. So is there a better way than just removing the tape after each coat when the paint's still wet and then putting it back on for the next coat? I don't know of a better way, so that's what I did. But if you got something better, I'm all ears. Okay, before we test this, I should tell everyone that we cleaned it with Simple Green like they recommended. We did one coat of paint and then we used the Beyond Paint top coat on top of that. Uh, and then we waited for four weeks for it to fully cure. So we're doing everything by the book and we're gonna see how it holds up. How about we scrub it? Scrub it good. Huh. Ooh. Get it. Doesn't look that um went out good. Looks like it held up. Yep. That's good. All right, what else should we do to it? So add some bubbles to that. Add some bubbles, some some soap. All right, let's try some soap. You want the roller to be rolling, not sliding. Go ahead and try it. Like this? Uh huh. What do you think? Look pretty. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. Let's say. I think you can hit it with this. You just kind of dab it right with the end. Give it a try. You get them. Get those blobs. Don't let them escape. Oh! There you go. All done. Got it? Work on this seam. That one's a little safer. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. You do that like seam this? going all around. That's right. Yeah. All right. How's it doing? Look like it survived that one. Survived that one. Should we do anything more extreme to try to get it to come off? Hmm. Do you have any toys we could bang into it? Yeah. All right, get some toys that you don't mind maybe getting broke a little bit. 
and we'll bang it into it. So I'll finish things off with the results of the tile experiment, but this is a finished project on the Nook cabinets. I think it turned out really good. My wife's really happy with it. Uh, so curious to know what you think. I do think that we have a potential solution that avoids replacing the kitchen cabinets. So that's very good. That's money I'd really rather not spend and getting another 20 years out of them would be just fantastic. There is, so the only thing when you roll on the paint, you end up with the, a bit of a texture, which I actually think is really cool. I like it, but my wife's not so keen on it for the kitchen cabinets. It's fine for these. Um, so if we do that project, I might spray the paint. You can spray this uh, instead of rolling it on. And I think that would give a bit more of a smooth surface for the kitchen cabinets that she would like. So I'm calling this a success. Let's take a look at how the tile did. Okay, I'm back and I found my wooden axe. Okay. If you're wondering what I'm gonna do to this, I'm gonna bang it right in here. Do you think Beyond's pain is scared right now? Mm, maybe. Give it, give, go, go to it. Beyond Paint survives. All right, hit it like from the side. Thank you. I kind of add an angle to try to scrape it off. All right, keep going. Get it. Pretty good. I think I'll, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get something different. Okay, you get something different. Okay, I'm back. I have my toy sword here. How do we do? I think you need to say, use yeah, some um, of your pirate words. Um, this is getting too ugly. Oh. Did we scrape any off? No. Yeah, you just smudged it. Okay. I have my slinky and I'm, I'm going to use the metal edges to scrape it off. Scrape it. I think you can get it. Did you get any off? We, I found something. It looks like the, the slinky. The slinky's rubbing off on the paint. Well, keep going. So is the gray and the metal wearing off? Yep. All right, let's see what we got. Nothing. I mean, the metal edges of the slinky took off a tiny bit. But that was a really tough test. He was pushing very hard on the slinky. Uh, I'm gonna say that it is way above and beyond to expect that that wouldn't scratch paint at all. Uh, and yeah, that this can paint and stick to and hold up very well on tile.